Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Arcanize here, back with another video today. I'm going to be doing another shorter review on Legends of Tomorrow Season 4, Episode 3. Let's get into this, guys. Now, when I first saw this episode, I wasn't crazy about it, okay? It was, like, I know I was tired and I just wasn't really feeling it when I really watched it. But then, now I've thought about it more and more, and it was actually a great episode. So, I'm going to do the normal stuff, talk about what I liked, what I didn't like, and then just overall thoughts, and we'll be done. So, what I liked. Nate's story is so interesting right now, and I'm really loving it. And the scenes with him and Gary this episode were just straight up Legends classic. Like, I just absolutely loved them. Ava was a nice side character in this episode. Pretty funny, actually. Sarah is great, as she always is, basically. Ray really got a spot to shine in this episode, and I think he did a great job, to be honest. Like, he did a very good job, or should I say, rage. Then, also, I need to just talk about Constantine for, like, one minute, guys. He is so good. Why is he so good on Legends? This is insane. I love him so freaking much. Like, he is probably the best character on the show right now, period. I am loving Constantine. He works so well with the Legends and in every single episode of the season and the one he appeared in last season have all been great. Like, he's been great in them. And I just love Constantine. Alright guys, he is amazing. Also, the kind of quote-unquote villain for this episode, Charlie or whatever, who's a shapeshifter. I don't know how I felt about her. Like, I like her. And I don't know, like, if she's gonna, like, play any other role in later in the season. But she was, she was okay. I liked her. Alright, I... I pretty much knew she was going to actually be the one that was the mystical creature or the fugitive. But, like, they tried to make it look like the other guy was going to be Declan. Didn't really work for me, but maybe that's what they were trying to do. I don't really know. But, I mean, I, I really did like this episode. For me, I didn't enjoy it quite as much as the first episode. But it was very, very good. Now, I, I'm really not digging. This is like nitpicking, guys. Like, really nitpicking. But I don't like the commercial break, like, effect. Like, I know, like, a six-year-old who can make that. It's just, like, a kind of... It, it just looks bad. But, I mean, like I've said before, the show's already costing, like, $8 billion an episode. So they want to, the CWs want to keep that cost down. So it's rare, rare, literally I can't talk. It's really not a big issue. So overall, this episode was very good. I love the characters. I love the legends. The villain was fine. And there were so many great Easter eggs in this episode. Like, Ray literally says at one point, we dare to defy or something. And I'm like, wait a minute. That's what the CW slogan is. Whoa! So that, the, the Easter eggs are great in Legends. Overall, this episode was just great up solid. That is going to wrap it up. I'm going to give this episode an 8.7 out of 10. Be sure to let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button for new videos like these every single day. And I'll see you all next time. Peace! Oh!